The clock is ticking and these toxins are slowly damaging your kidneys every day. But we can stop them! Catherine here, today we talk about toxins and how to get rid of them as fast as possible. Uremic toxins, uric acid, creatinine. You really don't want this to accumulate and cause damage. And there are effective strategies to stop them. I've personally met people that, after being able to get rid of uremic toxins, were able to see a huge improvement in GFR at their next test. Yes, today we will see some of the most effective ways to get rid of these dangerous toxins fast and to achieve a better GFR. So during the next five days, we are going to get rid of one toxin per day. The first day, we're going to take care of one of the most dangerous sources of kidney damage, excess acidity. While the general population can eat high acidity foods such as meat and junk foods without immediate repercussion, those with reduced GFR don't have that luxury. You see, the kidney is the organ in the body that's supposed to manage body acidity. Following a standard western diet is a constant source of trouble for someone with a reduced kidney function. On the other hand, studies found out that when we start replacing acid-forming foods with alkaline-producing foods, it's actually possible to stop the decline of GFR. Even if people in stage 4 can stop GFR decline and in some cases restore some of their GFR when they replace acidic foods with alkaline ones. Now, there are various strategies to achieve a better acid alkaline balance in the body. And while limiting the consumption of acidic foods, such as meat, processed foods, and junk food in general, is a valid strategy, there is something that acts even quicker. Adding more alkaline foods to our diet. So why not try this wonderful alkaline smoothie? Let's take a look at this very quick recipe. First, a kiwi. This delicious fruit is still in season and it's actually one of the most alkaline forming fruits on earth. I love kiwis and not just because we produce a lot of them here in central Italy. Kiwi fruit also possesses excellent properties. In a study, adding two kiwi fruits a day at breakfast was enough to lower both cholesterol and systolic pressure in participants without raising glucose levels nor fasting insulin. Amazing what a little fruit can do! Not to mention that this fruit is a vitamin C powerhouse. And overall, kiwis are great for your kidneys. So let's add one to the blender. I feel it because I wasn't able to find organic kiwis at the grocery store. However, if you can find organic fruits, keep the pill. Let's add another vitamin C powerhouse now, a tangerine. This tangerine is not just gonna make our smoothie taste great. This is another very healthy and very alkaline fruit, ideal for a renal diet. Now guys, some people will tell you that you should not eat fruit with diabetes. Well, that's misinformation. Even the ADA recommends eating low glycemic fruits such as citrus fruits. Tangerines are also high in both vitamin C and fiber and have actually been shown to improve blood sugar in people with type 2 diabetes. This may be because of the presence of nobilatin in the fruit, a flavonoid that really helps. Next, let's add 30 grams of walnuts. This is the nut with the highest antioxidant content in the world. And they are also packed with nutrients such as vitamin E and L-arginine, which work to promote your body's production of nitric oxide. This is why nuts can help you lower your pressure as well as reduce inflammation. Also, walnuts are exceptionally rich in omega-3s compared to almost any other plant-based food. And you really need omega-3s in your diet. 
These fats are essential, meaning that your body needs them and you cannot make them. However, there are just a few plant sources of these very healthy nutrients. And just one plant-based food that's even better than walnuts when it comes to omega-3s. Chia seeds, our next entry. Nuts and seeds will give a creamy consistency to our smoothie and they will also slow down the absorption of carbs. But chia seeds are special because they are really packed with omega-3s. Remember that not having enough omega-3s in the diet may worsen proteinuria which directly makes kidney disease progress faster. Not something we want, so make these two superfoods regulars on your table. Another food that you cannot miss. This is one of the healthiest veggies you can find, also extremely alkaline to protect our kidneys from the dangers of excess acidity. Kale, half cup of it. Kale is a nutrition superstar due to the amounts of vitamins A, B6, C, K, folate, fiber, carotenoids, and manganese it contains. This cruciferous vegetable is also super rich in fiber, great to slow down carbs absorption and improve gut health. And what makes it really special for us is its alkalinity. Kale is so alkaline it literally neutralized excess acidity in the body. Let's put everything in the blender. Add a couple of ice cubes and a little bit of water. And our super alkaline smoothie is ready. Now guys, let me know down in comment section if you are going to try this smoothie and don't forget to tap that like button while you're at it. Second day, time now to take care of another highly dangerous toxin that accumulates over time. I'm talking about uric acid. If you ever heard of uric acid, it was probably in relation to two unpleasant conditions, gout and kidney stones. When uric acid accumulates over time, it can cause both of those ailments. It's more dangerous for those with kidney issues because the kidneys are supposed to take care of excess uric acid. Now, what not everyone knows about this score is that it is now proven to be a direct cause of kidney damage. Yes, the problem is not just the complications these toxin causes, but also your kidneys are gonna be in trouble if you don't keep uric acid under control. But luckily, there is one easy way to protect your kidneys from uric acid. Magnesium! This mineral is crucial to the body's function. It helps keep pressure normal, bones strong, and the heart rhythm steady. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency is a common yet dangerous one, especially in people with kidney problems, and having low levels of magnesium is also associated with high uric acid levels. What many people don't know is that supplementing this mineral may actually save your life. If you are having muscle cramps frequently or troubles focusing and sleeping, magnesium deficiency could be a cause. Luckily, you can easily supplement this essential mineral and get a ton of benefits. In particular, researchers think that supplementing magnesium can directly lower uric acid levels. Guys, I'll talk more in depth about this incredible mineral in my video up here. Watch it now if you haven't missed it. And while magnesium is especially important for those with kidney issues, in general, it may be not enough alone for people with diagnosed gut. In this case, there are other supplements that can help. Vitamin C is one. This vitamin is very interesting for us because it protects the kidneys by competing with uric acid for reabsorption in the proximal tubule. Other supplements such as tartary extract and even turmeric can also help. But in extreme cases, a prescription of allopurinol will be the best way. Talk to your primary healthcare provider if you believe you need to lower your uric acid levels. Now, when it comes to uric acid, there is another danger that many people are unknowingly facing. While the standard dietary recommendation is to avoid foods high in purines such as red meat, organ meats, 
seafood and alcohol, there is one more element in the diet that's even worse when it comes to uric acid. This is one of the worst dangers in our diets and we are going to take care of it during the third day. Sugar When it comes to toxins that should be addressed as fast as possible before they do more damage, sugar is absolutely one of the worst. It's an undisputed truth that added sugar is really dangerous for everyone but especially for people with kidney problems or diabetes. There is convincing evidence that sugar won't just cause unwanted insulin spikes, it can also increase bad cholesterol, inflammation, high blood pressure, even more than sodium, by the way, and consequently risk for heart and kidney problems. What we can do besides limiting sugar intake to take care of this toxin before it's too late? Well, there is one supplement that, more than any other natural molecule, can lower your sugar levels. There is emergent research showing us that this supplement can be effective against D2D because of its sugar-lowering properties. I'm talking about berberine. Okay, this is a powerful one. And today, even some primary care providers are starting to recommend berberine before prescribing, for example, metformin to people with D2D. Metformin, by the way, is commonly used for T2D and its main use is to lower HbA1c and it's a synthetic molecule. Berberine, on the other hand, is completely natural. It's a natural compound found in barberry and other plants and it's what many experts consider the most powerful supplement in existence. It may lower fasting and fast meal glucose levels significantly and it can also help with cholesterol and hypertension. Berberine is also one of the few natural weight loss supplements that actually work as intended. Yes, berberine can really make a difference when it comes to protecting the kidneys and it's especially powerful against T2D. This is because According to studies, berberine may reduce fasting and post meal glucose levels by more than 30%, which is frankly amazing for a 100% natural supplement. Okay, fourth day, let's now take care of what experts are starting to consider the most dangerous heavy metal for people with kidney issues. This is something we are in contact with every day and that we must take care of in a timely manner. I'm talking about cadmium. The main danger associated with cadmium exposure is irreversible damage of the canals within the glomeruli, something called renal tubular dysfunction. Modern society exposes us to huge amounts of cadmium every day. We know that Secret smoking, even secondhand, and consuming certain foods are the most serious sources of exposure. Now, when it comes to cadmium, there is a lot of misinformation floating around. Especially, I want to address one comment I received on one of my recent videos in which I mentioned cadmium. Let's take a look. The food groups that contribute most of the dietary cadmium exposure are cereals and cereal products, vegetables, nuts, and pulses, starch roots or potatoes, and meat and meat products. Due to their high consumption of cereals, nuts, oil seeds, and pulses, vegetarians have a higher dietary exposure. So first, thank you Vince for this comment. It's very interesting. But this is only true in part. Because it's true that these foods may contain cadmium, but it's also true that cadmium level in a food is not the same as absorption. You see, according to science, while plant-based foods may contain more cadmium than animal-based foods, cadmium from plants is less bioavailable than cadmium from meat. Now, cadmium is in our soil, so where and how the food is grown is important. And as I was saying, certain conventionally grown foods are a source of cadmium exposure. For example, grains and cereals are some of the food groups that contribute most of the dietary cadmium exposure. Eating organic grains and cereals will reduce your exposure to this dangerous heavy metal. And there are also foods that directly decrease cadmium absorption. A very interesting way of preventing cadmium absorption seems to be kale. Researchers found out that mixing kale to organ meat, the food item with the highest cadmium content you can find, 
decrease cadmium exposure in test subjects. Another way to help is following a diet rich in zinc and chromium. Now, when talking about cadmium, ginger is absolutely worth mentioning. Ginger is really great and I always love finding ways to include it in my meals. It's a powerful natural anti-inflammatory and it's one of the few foods that directly protect the kidneys, especially against cadmium. The effect on cadmium protection by ginger was studied and it was determined that this superfood can really help. So it's clear in my opinion that using this simple staple food as a way of protecting your GFR should be a prerogative for anyone aiming to get better. Ginger is actually one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods you can find, by the way. Make it a regular on your table, either fresh in powder or even in extra form. Now guys, cadmium is a pretty big topic and it may be a serious danger. Please let me know in comment section if you want me to make a field video about it. Fifth day, time now to take care of the number one danger for the health of our kidneys, uremic toxins. But why are uremic toxins so important for us? You see, these kind of scores should never be present in too high amount in the body. When the kidneys are working properly, they are able to get rid of all these scores. In fact, one of the main indicators of GFR decline is the increased presence of a certain score called creatinine. Creatinine and urea are the two main uremic toxins and removing them before they can do damage means directly improving GFR. This is why finding ways to remove these scores naturally on a daily basis is something I always recommend. And what I prefer to use to do that is acacia fiber. Acacia fiber is the gum that's naturally exuded by the acacia tree. The reason why acacia fiber is interesting to us is its ability to actually absorb these scores before they get in the system. This effect is so powerful, it was used in 9 people in stage 5. They were only given acacia fiber and that lowered their creatinine levels so efficiently that some of them were able to go on for years without any form of RRT. Now guys, if you want to know more about acacia fiber, there is a link down in the description where you can buy it from the best brands and also find all the info you need about it. Check it out. Or you can watch my video about it up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.